So far, at least 235 people has been killed in this attack, but the high amount of people injured, up to 130, will be very high. We will make it very high the possibility that this number of casualties may increase in the next uh, few hours, also especially because the, the hospitals in the area are not uh, used to deal with this amount of, uh, of uh, dead and injured and are absolutely uh, surpassed for the circumstances. Absolutely. I mean, just describe for us, it's a very uh, remote region where this happened. And, uh, and what sort of um, uh, credibility should, should we give to the fact that it was a Sufi group uh, who uh, were attacked here? What should that tell us about who may be behind this and the motives? Well, it's very important to highlight this because it's the first time that there's an attack against a mosque in this area. It's the first time in the, few, in the last years that there is such a huge attack against a mosque and especially against a, a, a Sufi mosque. The Sufis is, is a, a branch, a spiritual branch of Islam that is considered uh, heretic for most of the extremist or conservative groups, including Daesh. And uh, this same group has been threatening the Sufi community in the area for the past uh, months. They have a, a moral police in the area. They are controlling how these uh, this, uh, Muslims are living. So they have been threatening Sufis and they have been uh, telling them that they have to stop uh, the, their way of uh, worshipping. Only a week ago they received some kind of warnings and they stopped doing so according to, to the people in the area. But even though they were expecting this kind of attack because it's a remote area and they were putting like some checkpoints and controls before the mosque, they couldn't avoid. They were expecting this kind of attack but for sure not with this uh, magnitude and for sure not so deadly, Absolutely. even though they stopped with the, as, as, as they were requested. Absolutely. I mean, the severity of the attack probably overwhelmed any security they had. Now, the response from the Egyptian military has been pretty swift and, and loud. There have been airstrikes on, on targets. I mean, Nuri, what kind of effect do you think that's actually going to have? Or is, do you think, really, that's more just symbolic uh, attacks by the Egyptian military? We have seen so far these airstrikes that uh, airstrikes that have been uh, happening ever since the the attack yesterday. But it's very important to highlight that President Sisi has said that he's going to use an iron fist against uh, those that has been attacking the country. But so far, on the contrary, we have, we have seen that the security forces and the army has been fighting in China against all those terrorist groups and especially against Daesh. But they have been like very little success. Mainly they have been uh, fighting and they have been being targeted by those extremists in the uh, checkpoints and in, in, in the security places in the Sinai. But they, they have been arresting people, but they have been very little uh, success. Uh, and finally then, Nuria, sort of 12 hours on from this attack, what sort of sense is there in uh, Cairo, in Egypt this morning after this uh, brutal attack that killed so many people? Well, there are so many people that is very disappointed, especially with the policy that the, the president of the Fatah al-Sisi is applying. As I was mentioning before, he is saying that he's going to take revenge and he's going to apply an iron fist. But the people, the feeling of the people is that they, he is getting a, a lot of money, a lot of resources from uh, Western countries. But finally, the, the repression is being, uh, is being uh, against the opposition, is being against the youth, is being against the, the journalists. There's 40,000 political prisoners, 60 uh, journalists actually in jail, and, and so far uh, there's very little success against the, the terrorist attack. attack. So many people is fearing that this, this, uh, this iron fist is going to be against opposition instead, instead of uh, against uh, militants in the area.